Godot 4 introduced lambdas as a new feature in GDScript. Lambdas, also known as anonymous functions, can be created and used in line. They are frequent in functional programming and provide a concise way to write your code. Godot's documentation points out that this can be useful to create callables to pass around without polluting the class scope. Let's see how to code a lambda function. Create a variable, let's name it just lambda. Assign a function to this variable, use the call function to call it, and that's all. Yeah, that's simple. So now let's see a more tangible application. Lambdas are perfect for callbacks, and we tend to use a lot of callbacks for signals, but sometimes it seems like a waste to declare a function every time we do it. Lambda solve this problem. Check this. Create a two-second timer, then create a lambda function as we just learned, connect your timer's timeout signal to the lambda function, wait and see. Easy, right? Likewise, you can create this for twins, simple snippets, actually everywhere it may fit in your code. So I hope this can help improve your programming practice. See you next time!